everyone and welcome back to my channel again it's your girl tessie so in this video we're going to be talking about the updates quick update about covid 19 which uh is known as coronavirus all over the world yes which is one of the most famous thing right now like oh if this is the first time i'm stopping by here my name is tessie you're welcome please subscribe before leaving and my returning subscribers you guys are the best i love you guys so the quick update i'm going to be giving you guys today is about wearing masks the importance of wearing masks and using a hand glove while going out. I've had I've had some people say that oh when they uh, when other people see them wearing masks they'll be like mm, they'll be looking at them somehow because uh, most people don't take this seriously. No, hold on. Yeah, most people don't take this thing seriously, and when they see people trying to protect themselves, they'll be looking at them like what is she doing? <laughs> so. You should continue wearing your mask because there is this update now that um, I watched on TV the other day. You know, I love giving you guys updates about what is happening because most people, especially ones that live in Italy or other parts of the world that are not, maybe they don't want to watch news or maybe they don't just don't like watching news or, you know, they don't know anything that is happening. So the other day, a few days ago, I was watching the the program about this uh, virus uh, here in Italy and the doctor, either doctor, I don't know if it's a doctor or pharmacist or chemist or biotest, you know, whatever he is, but I know he's in the field of the medical, okay, so they were interviewing him about the whole uh, COVID-19 stuff, how people get infected and how people can protect themselves from getting infected from this, so... He said that this is something that has to do with hair. You know, before we thought that it's a, it attached to skin or hair and all that. He said that it doesn't last like it doesn't live on our skin. You know, before we we believed that it lived in our skin, and uh, a lot of researches have been going. Uh, they've been doing a lot of researches about this thing that is happening right now. So he said that it doesn't live on your skin. Yes, that uh, it's something that has to do with air. And I was talking to my friend the other day, Abel Valentine, and the board and Annie. They were Abel was talking about something like that that they asked them in the UK to to wear masks if they have to go out because it's uh, airborne. Uh, uh, virus so everybody has to wear masks while going out because you can get it through the air so why do we are doing that interview i was like oh i need to update my people which uh, which is you guys about this that in the importance of wearing masks and gloves this thing when you are when because most people don't actually respect this staying indoor stuff so if you are the type if you are one of them that don't like staying indoor, like the, the doctors and the government instructed to do, when you're going out to avoid getting infected by this, try to wear your hair, uh, face mask because face mask protects you from breathing the air. Remember, this thing can last on the air for like at least eight hours, okay? And when you are exposed in the environment where the whole thing is and you breathe them in, that is how you get infected. You are not... Necessary, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to be around people before getting infected. If before this eight hours that is in the air and you expose yourself to that a particular environment without knowing, even if there is nobody there, but there was someone that has this virus and the person was there, maybe cough or sneeze, and the whole they stay flowing on the air. If you go there before eight hours, you you are likely to get infected from this even if you can't you don't find anyone in that particular place this is why most of the parks are closed down here in italy they stop people from going to the public parks they are closed including the one that is close to my house so it's important that you wear masks i know it's uncomfortable yeah mask is uncomfortable but it's better you be comfortable for the hours you are staying, you're going to stay outside than exposing yourself into this. Probably your immune system will fight it, but what about your loved one's immune system? And what about the doctors and the nurses that are working tirelessly every day in the hospital? You're not also, you are not also helping them because maybe you will catch this thing. It won't affect you, but you will be living a normal life without any symptom, without any anything without any symptom but what about when you go meet someone else that their immune system is not as strong as yours you might get them infected and with hospitals are part tell me how it is and also remember that doctors and nurses are dying because of this thing that is happening because the hospitals are full there is there are no enough there is no enough equipment to treat the patients as well so please this is important 
this is very very important try to wear mask when you're going out because it's something that has to do with air uh, air it's something because they call it aerosol because it flows in the air and when you are exposed to this particular uh, to this particular environment even if there is no one there you can get infected and the other way you can get infected is by touching the surface of the stuff people have touched already maybe they are, maybe you are, you are alone there maybe you are you're going to the park and there is nobody there or maybe there are a few people in the park and someone maybe one of the people in the park have already touched the particular place you want to touch and he or she is not anymore there but they've touched that particular place or they've sneezed or cough and the virus is attached to the object around there and when you come you will be like oh there is nobody here so i'm free to do that i'm free to touch i'm free to just be free here and you grab your hand on that object the moment you grab your hand there that will attach your hand and mistakenly mistakenly and you put your hands on your face your eyes your nose your uh, your mouth that is how you get infected without knowing this is why they say wash your hand always and wear gloves if you can like put on some glove because glove helps you when you when you're wearing glove you already know that you cannot touch your face with that glove so it's important when you're going out there try to wear some glove that glove will protect you from this like i said the no update said that it doesn't last on the skin your hands are one of the most dangerous place this thing last because when you touch it i mean we all know that touching our face is a common thing maybe when you are walking on the street and you feel like something is on your eyes or something is in your eyes or in your face you will just unknowingly touch your eyes trying to remove something that is in your eyes or maybe your part of your face is crushing you or maybe your nose just crush you immediately and because you you are not conscious of it you've already touched that particular place and when that thing is inching you on your face you just like boom use your hand to wipe your eyes or touch your nose or your ear and scratch thereabouts that is how people get infected so it's best you wear a glove if you're going out be conscious of that but if you don't have any serious thing to do outside why are you going outside the best thing to do is to stay indoor you can go out for a walk if you are the one that has a demanding job at this point of time i know that not everybody that has the privilege to stay home you can go to work but when you are going to work if you're using public transport try to be careful try to wear your mask don't say that you are young and your immune system are very strong don't say that because you might contact it and it might not affect you and it, it will affect like 90 percent there, there are 90 percent chance that it will affect people that you're living like people your family members or your friends or even even people in your working place so it's best you wear masks and wear your hand gloves if you're using public transport even if you're not using public transport and you know that you're going to a public place if your work is demanding one that you must go to work try to protect yourself because while you're protecting yourself you're protecting doctors and all the healthcare workers out there you're protecting them as well so that is it guys it's and it's always best to stay home stay home this is important go for shopping and come back home do your exercises at home you are protecting people out there you're protecting your loved ones and you're protecting everyone that can protect themselves from this virus and that is the only way staying home is the only way to contain what is happening today so please wear your mask when you're going out do not underestimate the power of wearing your mask because you're protecting yourself you're protecting your families and your loved ones and also you're protecting the doctors and the nurses, the health healthcare workers that are working tirelessly to put an end to this thing that is happening right now. So until I see you, until next time, thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like this video and share this video for someone that needs to hear this. God bless you all.